Today is my is my second first look at the Insta360 ONE R. Let me explain. First though, I'm wearing my, my Morgan Lee Band shirt because today, Morgan and her band are releasing their new single, Whiskey Singing, on on everything. Spotify, Apple Music, I don't know, it's on everything. And it's legit, it's legit one of my favorite songs that they've ever made. And she wrote a song for me, and I think I like this one the most. Mainly just because it's about whiskey, and I really like whiskey, and and it's called Whiskey Singing. <laughs> it's awesome. Go over to any of those music providers, give it a listen, maybe share it on Instagram. Put it in your, in your Instagram story, tag at Morgan Lee Band and uh, show them some love. They've been working super hard on it and it's always cool to see a group of people work really hard on something and then it comes out and it's, and it's awesome. I, I love that. Okay, into today's video about my second first look of the Insta360 ONE R. The reason I say that is because I did a first look of the Insta360 ONE R uh, in January, early January. I got the camera in my hands. I, I basically made a, a video explaining the camera, explaining that it was modular, that there was the battery, and then the camera mod bit, or the, the, the processor mod? The core mod, that's what they call it, the core mod. Then there's the 4K mod and there was the 360 mod, and, and this is what makes the camera so special, that it can just move around, you can switch things out. I could say, I want it to be a 360 camera, and, and boom, now it's 360 camera. Then I decide, hey, I wanna shoot like GoPro regular 4K footage, I can just flip this guy around. I could say, I want it to be front-facing lens screen like that. I want it to be lens shooting forward and screen backwards like this, and it just does modular things. So it's basically a GoPro and an Insta360 ONE X in one kit, one set. So instead of buying a action camera and a 360 camera, you have them both in one thing, same battery set device. And that was cool, and I was very excited for the idea. I thought that the idea was super cool, but unfortunately this is a pre-production unit, which means it's not the final version, and they said we couldn't release any of the footage that we had shot with it because there was a firmware update coming out. But when I did the firmware update on this guy, it kind of messed everything up, it was going really wonky. I did a lot of stuff to get the firmware to finally load, and then it was still acting kind of wonky. But again, it's a pre-production unit, so those kinds of things are kind of expected. So, Insta360 sent me a new one. This is the production version. This is the, this is the one that you would get if you went out and bought it. And this is the twin edition, which is the same as my pre-production unit, the 360 mod and the 4K mod, but they also sent me something else, which I'm most excited about. And it's what I said in the first video, I was most excited about this camera system in general. They sent me the one inch mod. <laughs> and this is a partnership, this is a partnership with Leica. Leica and Insta360 teamed up to make this 5.3K mod, which is crazy. That's kind of the cool thing. It's the thing that I like most about this camera idea is that I can take my camera how it is, and then in the future, they could come up with mods. They could think of something else, make it a 5.7 or a 6 or an 8K mod. Just come up with that piece, I buy that one piece, lock it onto my existing set, and then boom, I've got like a new camera without having to buy a whole new camera, new batteries and new, new everything. So the concept of the Insta360, I really, really, really like. But this next week, not today, again, today's gonna be like a first look, we're gonna open all this stuff, see if the production unit is any different, see what the 1K mod even looks like, and then, then I'm gonna go out and shoot a bunch of it, I'll show you some of that at the end of this video, but then next week we're gonna go really in depth on this camera specifically, the 4K and 360 mod, which is called the Twin Lens Edition. I think that runs for, Twin Edition is 479, so you basically get a GoPro, and a 360 camera for 479. Whereas if you bought a GoPro and a GoPro Max, you're looking at like $800 for that same setup. So by buying this modular setup, you're getting you're getting more in one package, but the question is, does it live up to the hype? Is it as good as 
buying a GoPro and a GoPro Max? Or if you have the extra money, does it make more sense to buy those? That's gonna be the question that I'll be asking over this next week of using these two mods and, and this mod, because this is something that GoPro doesn't offer. They don't offer a one inch sensor camera. And to be able to kind of work this into the camera system that I already have, is a cool idea. Now with the one inch mod, what does that mean? Why, why would you want a one inch mod besides the fact that it says it's 5.3K instead of 4K, but we pretty much put videos online anyways and people are watching them on little screens. Does it matter? Well, with the bigger sensor, again, this is a hypothesis. It should be better in low light and it should have more detail in the image. And Insta360 is so confident in the 5.3 camera mod that they actually sent this to me and asked me if I would do them a favor and go out and film footage of these two side by side. The GoPro Hero 8 Black versus the 5.3K mod. So I'm gonna go out with these two cameras, this, this camera system, but with this mod in place there, shoot these side by side in a bunch of different conditions all over San Diego so that they can show everybody how much better this is. And that's exciting. That's exciting that, that they're that confident and they're just like, no, trust us. Go shoot it side by side. We'll show you how much better we are. That's a big dog move. That's a real big dog move into 360 and and I appreciate it. Okay, I'm gonna reopen the twin lens edition. We'll see if there's anything different in here or if it's the same as my January video. And then, and then we'll dig into the one inch mod. Open. So new 4K mod, new camera core, and new 360 bit right there. We got another battery in here. This is the same, same kit. Looks like everything is, is the same, except this one's gonna work. I'm very excited for it. By the way, I haven't heard of anyone else that had the issue that I had with mine, so it's not really an issue with the camera as much as it was just a pre-production thing. So we got everything we had last time. We have the 360 mod, we have the 4K mod and the camera core mod that pop apart. We have the battery bit, a cable to charge it, and a cage to put it in. Interesting though, because this cage, uh, it does not have a cold shoe mount on top, but they did send me separately an accessory shoe mounting bracket. So this is a cold shoe version of, of this cage. And look, it's not that much bigger. Look at, look at the size difference between those two. But you can see this one has a cold shoe right on top and the regular one that comes with the camera doesn't. I wish, I really wish, maybe for the future or a new camera, future camera, I wish that they would just include the one with the cold shoe in the kit so you wouldn't have to buy that separately. Uh, it looks like it's the same cage just with a, uh, a metal cold shoe mount popped on top, which is awesome because that means we can put a microphone on this camera now, which I want to do. And then I also got their mic adapter, which we're gonna test out. We're gonna see, I've, I've already seen some mixed reviews on this mic adapter, but this mic adapter, which is far smaller. Oh my gosh, it's teeny tiny. Way smaller than I thought. Look at that little thing. That is teeny tiny. But I've, I've wanted something like this. I've wanted it to be smaller because GoPros, as you know. Okay, mine is stuck in this cage, but you know that GoPros is this big old box. It's this big thing with a long cable. And they said that, that a lot of the audio processing is done in this thing. So I can't imagine that any audio processing is being done in here. We're gonna see what that sounds like. Although I haven't heard great things. But I'm not making any judgments. We're gonna test it this week to have a full review on this kit. This camera right here will be fully reviewed this week. The thing, like I said, that I'm most excited about is this bit here, a 5.3K, which isn't the part that I'm excited about. It's, oh, it's the one inch sensor that I'm most excited about. But look at that thing, that's, that's beautiful. Look how big that lens is. It's a monster of a lens for an action camera. Really oddly large, actually, for an action camera. Holy heck. Okay, I, I did not know it was gonna be this 
like beefy. It's here, do you wanna see this bit? You guys always get excited about this for some reason. I don't know why everyone gets so excited about that. It is very satisfying to do, I appreciate it. Now what I don't know, I do not know if this piece is waterproof because one of the, one of the things I was most excited about the twin lens kit is that even though it's modular like this, even though it's in pieces, it's still, it's still waterproof. I can still click it all together and it's totally waterproof. Yeah, it's got the same connector bits as the 4K mod and the 360 mod. I think it might be waterproof. It would be super rad to be able to take this one inch sensor lens, go out into the ocean with it, film some cool surf stuff. That would be amazing. Look at, look at, again, just look at how big just the lens piece is. Look how big the lens. As comparison, that is the Insta360 one inch built out next to the GoPro. <laughs> it makes the GoPro look so scrawny. And that lens I know is gonna be amazing because it's Leica. Leica just makes some great lenses. But we're gonna check the quality coming out of this. This is a 14.4 millimeter equivalent, which, which I think is actually wider. It is, because the 4K wide angle is a 16.4 equivalent wide angle. So the wide angle of this mod, just the mod, you throw that on there and boom, you have a wider shot than the 4K mod could do. It's like a whole new camera now. And that's basically what this camera is. This is an interchangeable lens action camera. I just wanna know, is it better than than a GoPro. Okay, that is it. I'm gonna get this charged up. I'm gonna go shoot some shots of Morgan and Eleanor upstairs probably. Maybe we'll go for a walk. I'll be able to use it a little bit more. Maybe I'll get my skateboard out and do the 360 shot on the skateboard. And uh, I'll do that at the end of this video. So, so enjoy whatever I make now. So what happened, Mom? <laughs> it was the slowest crash. Yeah. It was like a lean-over crash. Ready? 